What's up, everyone? Happy Wednesday morning. Happy December first, Rabbit Rabbit. Who uh, who out there believes in the tradition of uh, saying Rabbit Rabbit on the first day of the month for good luck? Uh, it's an old school tradition. One of my uh, grammar school teachers used to say that, and I still think of her when uh, she says it. But uh, Rabbit Rabbit, man, we got the last month coming up here, December first. Uh, a lot of people kicking off seventy five hard this morning. Uh, my girl Mariana's group, um, 75 hard. It's a, it's a way to live life's reset. Uh, if you're uh, in a funk and uh, you're looking to shake things up a little bit, look at 75 hard. Uh, I'm on it now. We're on day nine today. And um, no alcohol. A gallon of water a day. Two 45-minute workouts. One has to be outside. Uh, read 10 pages in a book. Uh Stick to a diet of your choice, and uh, take a picture of yourself every day, document it. 75 hard. Um, the biggest thing I, biggest thing for a lot of people is um, the alcohol. Um, Benny's on here. Um, it's Benny's birthday today. Happy birthday, Benny. Um, I listened to Benny's podcast last night that he did with another painting contractor, and it's Benny's one-year anniversary of being sober. God bless you, bro. God bless you. Um, alcohol seems to be uh, something that uh, is a big crush for a lot of people, um, myself included. Um, it's your go-to. Um, you're feeling happy, you go have a drink. You're feeling depressed, you go have a drink. You're feeling mad, you go have a drink. And um, it's ruining a lot of people's lives. It's ruining a lot of people's momentum, a lot of people's businesses. And... Um, I think it starts, you don't realize it starts small. Um, then, you, you know, starts with a drink here and there, starts with a drink every other night, starts with a drink four nights a week. Next, you know, it's five nights a week, seven nights a week. Um, and then there's the other problem. Sometimes maybe you don't need it every night, but once you have one, you have 10, you have 12, you have a case. Um, it seems like uh, it's an issue for a lot of people. And uh, everyone tells themselves, I'm different than everybody else. I could do this. Um, you know, make excuses of why, you know, drinking is okay for them. And, uh, so I'm nine days in, no drinks. Um, I wasn't, you know, that bad, but I do then tend to have tendencies of using it as a crutch. Um, you know, some people get up and have a beer in the morning or drink in the morning and drink all day. And, you know, that's obviously a real problem, but you don't have to drink all day long to be an alcoholic. Um, you just have to know that that's a crutch for you and you have to realize that and know that. Uh, you got to face your problems. You got to face your fears, um, without, without the crutch, without the crutch. Um, eating, eating for me was also an addiction. Um, when I get depressed, when I get, uh, emotional, I eat, I eat like a bottomless pit. That's why I was 305 pounds. Um, because we don't face our fears. We don't face our problems. We just bury them and we escape. Um, so we need to think about in our lives, are we trying to escape from things or are we going to take those situations in our life head on because um i don't know if it's so much the drinking or so much the fact that we're not facing our challenges um we're trying to escape um yeah shout out benny god bless you bro um those of you that know benny benny's done like a 360 in his life uh he joined apex with me uh just about seven months ago and uh, we've been on this journey together um and it's just a whole new mindset it's a whole new way of living um, and you realize stuff, you stop going through the motions and you start really stopping to think, um, you know, something I thought to myself, do people and do myself included, listen, do you actually listen? Do you stop and listen? Do you listen to what your body is telling you? Do you listen to what the universe is telling you? Do you listen to what this problem is telling you? Um, you know, there's cues in our life all the time that we refuse to listen to, uh, that we just kind of go through the motions and because we're not listening, stuff keeps happening. We keep missing the cues. And then we go to drink and we go to eat. And we go to, you know, uh, smoke pot. Uh, I got a lot of friends that are potheads. Um, they go to smoke pot because they want to escape. Um, we got to stop escaping and we got to start facing our fears. We got to start listening to what's going on around us. We need to start really doing, like, just stop listening. I mean, stop not listening. Start listening to what the world's telling us. And start, start doing, start fixing those problems, start, start 
you know, rather than running from your problems, you need to start facing those problems. Uh, my buddy Brandon, uh, who's going to speak Sunday at the event, uh, spoke about uh, flight or fight and how many of us just flight. When we go run to a bottle, we go run to stuff in our face, we go run to whatever addiction it is we have, it's because we're afraid to fight. We're running away from it and we're uh, using a distraction. So a lot of it's awareness, um, but a lot of it's really just listening. Open your ears, open your mind. Uh, listening is more than just using your ears. Listening is opening your mind up to what the universe is telling you, to what people are telling you. The signs are everywhere and uh, a lot of us ignore them. Um, right from people telling us stuff where we don't listen, we, we listen to respond, we don't listen to listen. And so, um, so my message of the day is to stop and listen, open your mind and realize what the universe is telling you. Realize that maybe you're drinking too much, realize that maybe you're eating too much, realize that maybe, uh, you're smoking pot too much. Maybe, you know, realize that whatever it is that you're doing, that addiction that, uh, you're on, um, working out can be an addiction, you know, running can be an addiction. Um, so realize your addiction, realize that, uh, what the universe is telling you and, uh, and listen, listen. Listen to what's going on. Uh, if you're drinking every night and you're drinking lots of nights a week and um, you're drinking to escape and uh, eating to escape and doing whatever it is to escape the world, um, you need to fix those problems. Stop escaping and start fixing. All right, so there's your message of the day. We're over here at the Stephen McDonald Memorial. The sun is just peeking up behind the houses over there. This is Westwood Park in Malvern. The fountain's usually right here. And uh, it's a beautiful park they made in honor of Stephen McDonald, who was a New York City police officer uh, who was shot and paralyzed and uh, made it his mission um, to forgive and love. Um, love is the way is his uh, key term, key phrase. And uh, we just keep loving on each other. So I'm loving on you, um, trying to help you guys out. I see so many people in my life that are struggling um, by trying to escape. Don't try and escape. Figure out what's bothering you. Figure out what's making you want to drink. Figure out what's making you want to eat. Figure out what's messed up in your life and fix it. Work on it. Listen to what the world is telling you. Stop trying to escape. So let's jump on prayers. Uh, we'll look at the sun over here. Father, the sun, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, dear God, uh, help all those that are struggling. Help those that are struggling with addiction. Help those that are struggling um, with uh, running from their problems. Um, we know that everything you put in our lives is there to teach us a lesson. Um, we don't have problems. We have lessons. And uh, we need to be aware that everything that's showing up in our lives is a lesson. And we need to learn and grow from it. And we need to get better each day. Um, amen. All right, everyone. So shout out to Benny. Happy birthday, Benny. Congratulations on one year sober. Um, it's a feat. It's a feat. Um, um, well, Benny wants to jump on here. We don't have much bandwidth here, but Benny will try it. Let's try this. Uh, let's approve Benny coming on here. Let's see if Benny wants to join us on his birthday. The, the birthday boy. There is Mr. Benny. God bless you, brother. Happy birthday. Thank you. One year thank sober, you, Thank bro. you. That's a feat, man. God bless you. I love it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. What's going on? Thank you for the shout out. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I was listening to your podcast oh, last night and uh, listened to you uh, with uh, your painter buddy there. And uh, it was, uh, you know, it's just, I know so many people in my life uh, that are that are struggling uh, with alcohol, with weed, with whatever, with eating. Uh, and really the root of it comes down to is, right, we're not fixing our problems. That's our escape. And, uh, you know, we lean on these things because we're not we're not listening to what the universe is telling us. We're not listening to what our friends are telling us. You know, um, we all know we have, you know, a couple of mutual friends and we've talked to a couple of them and said, hey, you see them going down this wrong road. And they say, oh, I'm different than everybody else. I can handle it. And everyone tells themselves that lie. 
But there's a reason that you're jumping onto that bottle. There's a reason. So we need to attack those reasons and we need to attack our life and fix the things in our lives that are causing us to go down that way. And I'm sure, you know, that's part of it for you. You've fixed your life now. Um, you know, you've made your life better. You've changed your purpose. You changed your mission. And now you go a year without drinking and you don't even miss it. Like, because you were drinking right to escape. You weren't drinking. I mean, obviously, you know, everyone has a reason why they drink. Um, well, I was drinking to be be around people like you. <laughs> that's it. That's it. No, we all do no, that. No, but no, like, no, you, like, no, I like what you said. Um, you know, you, you look at the next networking event because oh, we're gonna go drink there, and you look at the next uh, you know, whatever wedding. Oh, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. You know, at the wedding, and you look at the next uh, you know, whatever events coming up. You're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go out and have drinks tonight. And, you know, every every you person know, Brian, you need help. We gotta go for drinks. You know, and, Brian, you, you you've seen me on this journey, but even before we really got serious and we really got down to the nitty gritty and joining Apex. Um, I was on a journey before uh, this whole thing, when I, when I did the whole weight loss um, with keto and dropping 75 pounds and, and really changing my life. I forgot that you were that heavy. But, you know what I mean, I was like, I'm like lost 75 too. It's like, yeah, everyone forgets that you're that heavy. And you look back at your old pictures, like, holy crap, man, <laughs> you were a slob. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Like, before and afters but you know what the transformation was was a was a huge thing for me so you know the, the words that we ins, you know we inspire people by health good feeling and 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 wealth in the end forget about businesses and all this other stuff wealth meaning like we as individuals we are wealthy after we get healthy yes so we need to get healthy first to become wealthy in the end mind body so, spirit you know 100%. So I, I'm like, you know, it, it, the transformation of keto, losing all that weight, and then going on a downward spiral again, because, you know, everybody blamed the pandemic. Okay. Now, yes, we were home not doing much. We had nothing to do. We started cracking open a, a bottle at 10 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock. And it became a habit. And if, if you didn't break that habit, which I was grateful to be able to help you know, myself and break that habit like others do. Um, th this is what we're trying to put out into the, the world. Okay. I'm not saying, you know, alcohol is bad for everybody, but if you can control yourself, one drink for me was not enough. Mm. So I had to say that is enough. Enough is enough. And I'm, I'm proud of myself for doing that. And I want to shed my whole journey on everybody else. And if I can help one person, Brian, a day, I could help somebody forever. So that's my ultimate goal is to help people on their journey to help themselves with any substance, drugs, alcohol, gambling issues, you know, if it's porn issues, it's it, it, everybody's yeah. got something, man. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be part of the Apex program. I'm grateful to surround myself with great people like yourself, Jessica, Maddie Kay, Listening to Ryan Stuman, Thomas, I mean, all these people are huge influencers in our lives, and I'm so proud to be part of that group and proud to be around this network. So definitely, definitely. Th thanks, thanks for letting me join. I am going live later on uh, with my own little speech, but I just wanted to come on here, not to take your spotlight, but just sure you to did. You wanted to steal. Thank you. You want to steal my thunder? I know what you're doing. <laughs> It's all right. No, it's all right. We're all no. in this together. So, so today was our Benny's day for the shout out. No, no, no. But uh, you know, I, I'm just I'm so grateful for you know being able to turn my life around. And if I can turn somebody else's life around, I, I will definitely do it, man. Because it, it means a lot. It really does. Building a really good, strong core network and having good values it, it means a lot to me now. Uh, after I implemented them in that, myself, that becomes your new so, addiction. You know, that's uh, that's a good addiction to have. I'm addicted to. Uh, being around good people and, 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 you know, people that inspire me and, and filling my head with reading, uh, you know, books of, you know, stuff that just really makes sense. And you're reading this and you have those aha moments like, wow, this guy's right. Like, you're right. This is my life and this is what I'm doing wrong. And this is stuff I need to work on things, things I need to fix. Um, but, uh, you know, we all talk about replacing addictions, you know, uh, you know, if it's, uh, if it's food, you know, then if you stop eating food and it goes to alcohol, you stop doing alcohol, it goes to weed and, People just move their addictions around. Well, you know, make that addiction on riding your bike. Make that addiction on, uh, you know, doing good things and, and, and volunteering. You know, pick some good addictions and focus your addictions on stuff that's going to help the world and change the world. 
and, and really just need to listen to what's going on around us. You know, we need to listen to our body. Our body's telling us, hey, listen, this is enough. You know, when you wake up in the morning and your freaking head's on fire and, you know, it's like you're not productive. Like your body's telling you, yo, this is enough, man. Enough of this stuff. Like this isn't doing us any good. And what do you do? Like, you know, you get through it, you're a little hungover. And then, you know, you know I'm going to have a drink this afternoon because, you know, I don't, that'll make me feel better. And that process starts and goes over and over and over again. And uh, I'm not saying I'm going to ever drink again, but I'm nine days in without drinking. And uh, if you like, it's just so, uh, it's so much clarity comes in. That's what 75 R is so cool. It really just gives you clarity. It makes you, it gives you a reason to break the cycle. And once you break that cycle, you realize that, wow, like, wow, like I was in a fog, you know, and uh, it. Uh, but if you can, if you can control it, you know, it's look, I, I, I'm not going to say that I'm never going to go back to alcohol, but I, I probably won't. But I think, and I think the thing is, is if, it's control. If you can control. And a lot of it, if you, a lot of it comes down to, you know, if you're, if you're living your life in a good way and you're successful and you're happy and, and you, your people around you support you and you're in a good environment, you're probably less likely to bury yourself in a bottle. You might just drink to have a drink rather than drink to, you know, to escape. You know, when you when you're escaping, that's where I think it comes one after another after another because you're escaping the stress, you're escaping the the relationship issues, you're escaping whatever's going on in your life. If you don't have a reason to escape anymore, the alcohol probably isn't the same problem that it was. I mean, I know myself when I'm, you know, when I'm depressed and stuff's going on, it's real real easy to go. You know, I'm just gonna go to the bar and have a drink. I'm just gonna run away and have a drink. I'm not gonna face my problems. I'm just gonna go to the bar and have a drink. And you know, if you if you learn how to, to live your life properly, you learn how to deal with your situations, you learn how to, you know, just live your life right, then you're less likely to go escape in a bottle. And I think that might be what a change happens. I don't know, like, you know, it's just an idea I have, but you know, what I know for myself, when, when stuff's going sideways, let's go have a drink, you know? Um, so, uh, definitely. It's, uh, different how about mindset. this? How about let's go have a club soda? Yeah. 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 I yeah. told you, uh, <laughs> friend of mine last time I was doing uh, 75 hard, it was snowing out and they were like, come on, let's go to the bar for a drink. And I said, nope, got to go my workout. And I said, join me, come for a walk. So we hiked the neighborhood, not 45 minutes. We hiked for like an hour and a half, the neighborhood in the snow. And uh, he said to me, he goes, this was so much better than going to the bar. We walked, we talked, we, we you know, shared memories about old times. Do you remember who lived here? Do you remember going here? Do you remember this as a kid? And so instead of a 45 minute workout, I turned out to an hour and a half walking in the snow sharing memories and, and ideas and whatnot and at the end of the night he said to me he goes this was so much better than going to the bar and i said you know what it was you know what we need to replace going to the bar with going for a walk going for a bike ride going for whatever you know um it's uh it's just a whole new mindset um you know that we're constantly struggling definitely. with and again i'm no angel um definitely uh you know people see me doing it no, but you, talking about it and then definitely you know you definitely changing you definitely de you definitely are changing yeah. and every I, we day talk. small steps definitely but thanks for uh thanks for again thanks for the shout out thanks for having me on the show mm. on your morning uh routine and i appreciate that man thank you so much course, man. appreciate Enjoy you your i appreciate your yes. message keep keep sharing that message bro oh. keep sharing that message definitely. i know you, you've always so, been worried about sharing your message and uh don't, don't let your light shine, man. Let your light shine. Don't worry about sharing that message. People need to hear this. People need to hear that um, they're not alone in a struggle and that uh, if you can overcome it. Um, one year, man, that's a, that's a big accomplishment. So God bless you, bro. Happy birthday. Thank you. And uh, just keep it up, man. Appreciate so you. So now two taglines. Uh, two taglines of what? Fire starts fire. Fire starts we fire. We are elite. We are elite. And put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. So we're going to sign off with that. I got to go show some houses. I got an 830 and a 9. So we're going to get on the road, everyone. Have a great day. God bless. Um, start listening to what's going on in your life. Open your ears up and, uh, and just really listen to what the universe is telling you. Listen to what your body is telling you. Listen to what your friends are telling you. Listen to what your spouse is telling you. If, it's, if you're drinking too much, you are. If you're eating too much, you are. Um, you know, fix those problems in your life. Don't escape from them. So on that and note, don't be, don't be scared to share your story. Share your story. People need to hear it. And it helps you get it off your chest. Honestly, we carry this weight around and we think we're the only one in the struggle. And then we reach out and we, we share our story and people reach out to us and thank us for sharing our story because they're going through the same stuff and they thought they were all alone on their island. And they realized that they're not alone on the island, that they're, uh, you know, we're all in this struggle together. Uh, it's not all rainbows and unicorns on social media. We all get depressed because we think everybody's living this rainbow and unicorn life. And we realize that behind the scenes, there's, uh, you know, there's marital issues, there's finance issues, there's 
you know, addiction issues. Everyone's got some kind of skeleton in their closet. I don't care who tells you they're living uh, their best life. Everyone's got something going on behind the scenes that, that they don't share, that if you get intentional and you, uh, and you just get a little vulnerable, you'll understand that uh, you're not on your island alone. If you're going through struggles, reach out to the people around you. Surround yourself with good people that you can lean on. I'm here for you. Benny's here for you. Anyone wants to talk, uh, no, no judgment, no questions asked. We're, we're here to lean on. Uh, we're here to help you because uh, we've been there and we're still there and every day is a struggle. And, um, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have a friend. Benny, Benny, a lot of times reaches out in the morning, sends me a meme that says, are you good? And uh, you know how much it means when someone that just asks you if you're good, I could be having the worst day ever. Uh, but someone reaches out and says they care. Are you good? Um, it just means a lot. So just be intentional with the people around you uh, and just, you know, check in if you need something check in if uh if you're feeling good check in with a friend that may not be feeling good just just keep spreading the love um and let's uh let's make the world a better place in honor of benny's Absolutely. birthday so thank you I'm, hey by the way uh, if you if you if you tag kelly kelly vitucci today with a happy birthday on me free elite shirts all day oh. all day free elite shirts Can we do that we're gonna tag it right on this video <laughs> uh -huh. so Happy birthday to me, Tag Kelly Vitucci, and free free elite shirts all day. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. I'm still waiting, right, I'm still waiting for my Gucci golf love shirt. It. When's that Gucci golf? Um, don't worry, man. We're in the works. We're in the works. <laughs> I got into Dior, so just give me a, ch <laughs> give right. me a chance. All right, all right. Good all stuff. All right, Brian. Thank oh, you Oh, yeah, for and everyone, me, man. this Sunday, Apex Live in New York, Farmingdale, New York, free, free Apex event. This event would cost you two three $300 to go to normally. They're doing this, uh, I think it's the first event ever in New York. Um, they want to see what kind of interest is out here in the Apex program. Um, those of you not familiar with Apex, maybe you can kind of consider it like a Tony Robbins type event. Uh, it's going to be an inspirational entrepreneur event. Uh, it's in Farmingdale. Starts at 12, 12 to 5, networking 12 to 1, a bunch of speakers and breakout sessions. Uh, there's going to be a top producing real estate agent there. There's going to be a, a credit repair guy there. Um, there's going to be a doctor there for mindset and headspace. And it's Ryan Stuman, who's the doctor of everything. Um, this is why we go to Texas. Um, those of you who know and love us, there's a reason we go to Texas to fill our heads with inspiration from this group. So come find out what it's about. This is a free event in your backyard this Sunday. Don't miss it. Um, there's not much space left. Um, go on my wall. You'll see it. A uh, million dollar, uh, meetup. Um, you have to register. It's free. You just have to register so they know how many people are coming, so they know how much you know, equipment and whatnot to have there. Uh, I think there's a 200-person limit, so we're we're pushing that limit right now. So get on there and register. Yep. You're not going to be able to show up at the door without registering. So uh, this Sunday, don't miss it. Opportunity of a lifetime. Um, and Saturday? What about Saturday? Saturday is the Lighting of Malvern. There you go. Uh, Lighting of Malvern, those of you who don't know that, Lighting of Malvern is this Saturday, Saturday afternoon. In the village of Malvern, they close Hempstead Avenue, the main strip in Malvern, and they put fire barrels out, and they have Christmas carols, and they have horse and buggy rides, and it's really a great family event in Malvern. Uh, the dance school does a dance routine over on Church Street. Uh, my kids are all performing. Um, lots of good stuff going on this weekend. So Saturday, lighting in Malvern, um, and Sunday, um, Apex Live Meetup in New York, Farmingdale, New York. Don't miss it, guys. Um, you know, just a lot of times uh, you guys just, don't, you don't take opportunities to present themselves in front of you. This is an opportunity, a free opportunity to fill your head with some positivity and some inspiration uh, and get inspired by some successful people in your life. Whether you're an entrepreneur or not, um, it's all about mind space. There's a lot more than an entrepreneur meetup. It's a mindset. It's a, it's everything. So don't miss it this Sunday. LFG. LFG, let's, everybody. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Forget your excuses. Let's go. G-rated. All right, everyone. All God right, bless. Guys. We're going to go ride. Have a great day. All right. Have a great day. God bless. Later, bro.